Hello, we're in Scarborough just for a change and today we're in Albion Crescent by the looks of it and first before I do out else I just want to quickly show you all this area is in mud and that's as much as I'll say but that's right the way around the Crescent but this is the thing <laughs> that's caught my eye, this wonderful place, this church here, because it's just absolutely stunning. It's a word I use a lot, but the problem I've got, I can't bloody see, to see whether this is focusing in properly or not. So if it is a bit blurred, I apologise about that, but it, it's just, it's like the other church I've just seen, Towers on the corner there. And I don't believe for one minute that that's original. Uh, but let's have a walk over. I mean, what gets me are these things here. They could be huge giant spike clubs. They're amazing. Well, let's have a look over a bit closer. Yep. There we are, I'll be in Crescent. I'm not sure with the name of the church yet, but I'll get to that in a minute. But straight away, I mean, uh, you're talking about mega, <laughs> mega iron railings that were on this thing. But it's just beautiful. I can't really say a lot about these churches because I don't know much about them. It's a new subject, a new topic for me, but. What gets me, to what I've seen there, is the amount of what looks like green that's leaching out. It's a beautiful window. So I might have patterns of some wood too. Come down to the lovely door as well. But what gets me, as it does with all these buildings, are these bloody things. Why are they necessary in a religious building? I've got no idea. I keep asking this question, but nobody can answer me. Uh, I don't really know whether I can get in, but uh, I'll have a walk around and see. Okay, I mean, these, I've never actually seen railings this big. You know, that size. I mean, they're pretty huge. Oh, they were when they were up here. I know there's a pathway around here, but as to whether I can get in on it's a different matter. Please be open, gate. Yay! The gate's open. But first of all, I mean, just look at the... I don't know, it's almost like medieval torturous. Spikes on it. Right through the gates. But straight away, I've got to try and I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I hope it turns out alright for my own benefit because I love these spires. There's so many churches now that have had these things removed. And you can see a copper lightning rod somewhere there coming down. But you move around a bit and you have more of these. Capacitors, as I call them now, and I believe them to be. But, let's have a little walk around. See, what I've seen on so many churches is this bottom layer, where I call it. It's always a lot darker. That's your bottom layer there. And you have your light layer on the top. Now this bottom layer, I do believe, in a sense, is like the cover-up layer. You know, this is, once they've finished repairing and digging themselves out or doing what they're going to do. Hey, up. Strange little copper pipe coming out the wall there. It's a water, a water pipe by the looks of it. 
Oh dear, what are these here? See, these seem unusual to be so low down on the tree. I mean, what are the, are the windows? See if we can see it, see what there is in there. And there's nothing. There's metal work in there. There's an old pipe in there, but Mm, strange. That's another one, look. Lots of wood. There's a draft coming through here, so I'm just wondering if I get my camera like this and put it up there, can I see anything? No, not really. Shaking a bit. But they are just, uh... see it's almost like, well, it's a hollow section there, absolutely beautiful. But you can see the difference in height round, you know, it's almost like sat on a hill. Yeah, this is the layout, I think, I don't know, this brickwork just does not look original. But it's almost like stuck on the outside. And, oh gosh, I don't know whether I can walk around or whether I've got to go back again. But there you go. Right that down there. It's really, really weird and strange. I don't think there's out in there that I can see. Nah. So, I'm going to have to go back the way I came. I'm looking for hideous statues and things like that that, you know, are quite often find, but there isn't. It's just a lovely church. Let's have a walk around the other side. So I'd love to go up in there. Right, let's carry on around a bit. And another thing that I've spied is another church over the road. <laughs> Now this is where we come to what? The front doors. Move back a bit because I want to try and get a, a nice close-up of that window up there. goes all the way up with the spire. Right, let's have a quick look around this side. Well the footpath stops here, so I suppose I'll have to stop here, but before I go, you know I do take Shots of things that I maybe don't understand or don't know why I took the picture, but if I take the picture, I can always come back to it later when I've got a better understanding of these places. Because as I say, and I've said in several videos on churches now, I don't believe for one minute that religion built these. I really don't. 
see if I can last finish up with the tower and oh god stiff neck right find out what church it is now and there we go it's an Andrews United Reformed Church I would so love to have had a look around in that place more so than the one I've just been in but never mind for another day thanks for watching bye To finish off with, with this church, I thought I was finished. Try and get a better view this side of the tower. Not only the tower, but them two as well. Two huge capacitors, as I call them. Who knows what the makeup of man and what before. But I'll try and just bring you down a bit to the stop of the side of the road. That way, you little thing. Anyhow, Scarborough's the place that keeps on giving. This video here, just spin the camera around, and we've got a whole new church to explore there. Bye.